Hey guys, so I don't know, a couple years ago perhaps, I had mentioned how I believe that, maybe longer, that web technology was going to continue to dominate, continue to dominate, and that uh, native application development, whether it be for iOS or Android or Windows or Mac, you know, even macOS, you'd argue, native application development was going to diminish in popularity and in uh, advantage because PWA-based technology, web-based te technology, progressive web app is PWA, was going to gain more and more traction because of two reasons. A, number one, web-based tech is becoming more and more sophisticated in terms of the libraries and the code and how fast the coding engines process. Number two, the hardware, the smartphones and the tablets and the uh, laptops, etc., the desktops, they were becoming more and more and more powerful so that the uh, speed advantages that you would get from natively written applications for many, 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 many programs that you might write, for many applications you might write, the speed advantage was, become, was going to become less and less apparent, less and less evident, right? If Yes, so if you wrote something in Swift for iOS and in, you know, some, I don't know, some social network, for example, where you're adding names and checking out results and stuff, you might see in the background, if you wrote it natively, you might see a speed advantage of, uh, you might open a record set in, I don't know, one-tenth of a second, whereas if you do it with web technology, it might take a whole two-tenths of a second, so it's half the speed. But as far as you as a person using the app, whether it takes one-tenth of a second or two-tenths of a second, you are not going to perceive any speed difference. So web technology is hugely advantageous for developers because you can basically write one code base and have your application work on all devices, right? Huge advantage, right? Huge advantage. The worst thing you want the worst thing you, you, you could have is having to maintain, maintain a code base for iOS, a code base for the web, for web browsers, a code base for Android devices. What a disaster. Much better to be able to just to write one code base that works very well on all the platforms. Now, you can't do it all the time. If you're developing shooter games and stuff like that, you probably want to do that native. But for so many, I would say 99% of applications that need to be developed and will be developed, you could do it all with web tech and you're going to have no discernible speed disadvantages in terms of runtime when your app is actually being used by somebody. But what you will have, what you will have, will have be, you have major speed advantages in terms of write time when you're actually writing the app. You don't have to get people skilled in iOS development. You don't have to get people skilled in Android. You don't have to get people skilled in the web. You just get web people, bing, bang, boom, Bob Jonko, where you go up and running. So, recent example, Microsoft is now, I believe they outputted Outlook now as a PWA, which is web-based technology. Not native, PWA, because they see that. They say, well, I could just do PWA and it will run on, uh, on any device, right? Any device, all devices support the web tech now iOS, macOS, Windows, all flavors, uh, Linux, Chromebooks, all supports uh, web tech, so you're fine. So here's a, yet another example. Microsoft Outlook is now PWA, amongst many other apps, and that is the trend. Microsoft has really transformed itself in the last several years with the new um, CEO, who seems to be a real innovative, cool guy, by the way and uh, do blood, right? And he's opened up Microsoft and they've embraced open technology, open standards, which is the opposite of where they were in the 90s and early 2000s uh, when Microsoft was trying to protect Windows. They realize now that there's much more business opportunity opening it up and, and providing all kinds of great products that support an open development platform, which is really cool. So they're embracing that technology, amongst other things. So that's just something really worth looking into. That's why I keep telling people, 
If you are looking at becoming a developer, whether you want to get a job, go freelance, do your own thing, by far and away, it's the web tech. That's why my studio web curriculum is web tech. I could teach Java. I could teach iOS Swift. I had Swift Playgrounds. I, you know, was one or two, you know, I, I, I built it, and then I looked at it, and I thought, eh, I'd rather just teach uh, web tech. It's a better choice, I think, in the long term. Now, don't get me wrong. We do not live in a binary world, zeros and ones. When I say the web tech is the better choice, I don't mean that native iOS Swift is crap. I'm not saying Android, Java, or Kotlin is crap. I'm just saying it's the better choice. Sometimes you have to go native in either platforms for certain type of high performance uh, type of applications, perhaps. But generally speaking, I think for the vast majority of app, apps out there that need to be developed, whether it be 99% or 97%, who knows, uh, web tech. So if you're just jumping into the game, if you want maximum flexibility in terms of getting a job, starting a business, freelancing, etc., do the web. Because, by the way, if you do the web and you, do, and you understand your HTML5 and your CSS3 and your JavaScript and maybe a server side with Python and Django or maybe PHP Laravel or .NET, et cetera, C Sharp, you could pivot to anything afterwards, right, if you're properly trained. Anyway, that's why I do uh, the web tech, because I see that is the future. Open cross-platform solutions always win in the end. That's my experience going back to the 90s. And you just see it more and more and more and more. When HTML5 uh, came out uh, big time in 2012, and they basically kicked the butt of, of XHTML, uh, and they opened it up to a much more logical, pragmatic way of thinking about building web pages and web apps, uh, I knew that was it. It's like such a cool tech. And now that Microsoft has embraced it and is putting their considerable capabilities into improving that and, and developing that and nurturing that whole platform, you can't lose. You can't lose.